Over the past 80 years, truck manufacturers have consistently increased the number of gears in trucks. In the 1940s, trucks usually had between 3 and 5 gears, whereas modern trucks can now have up to 18 gears. But why add all the gears, and what are the advantages and disadvantages? Today, we're diving into the details to uncover what types of gears trucks are currently using and whether we'll be adding gears in the future. Stick around till the end to find out. But before we do that, let's rewind and explore the early days of trucks and their transmissions. Our journey begins in the early 20th century, when semi-trucks first hit the roads. These trucks were equipped with rudimentary manual transmissions, often sporting just two or three speeds. They were powered by internal combustion engines, usually gasoline engines initially, and later diesel engines became more common due to their greater efficiency in hauling heavy loads over long distances. Then, in the 1940s, they were typically robust and very simple in design, focusing on functionality rather than comfort. Manual transmissions were the norm. These transmissions were typically non-synchronized, meaning the driver had to manually match the engine speed with the gear speed when shifting, often using a combination of double clutching and rev matching techniques, with gears ranging from 3 to 5 speeds. Fast forward to the 1960s where trucks boomed on the road. The trucks were a combination of conventional trucks with the long nose and cab overs. The engines had become more powerful, and inline 6 and V8 engines were the norm. Trucks were typically equipped with 5 to 8 speeds manual transmissions that required skill and experience from drivers. Automatic transmissions were in their early stages, primarily found in light duty trucks. They weren't yet powerful enough for the heavy loads hauled by semi trucks, but that was soon to change. In the 1980s, we witnessed a pivotal shift in the world of trucks, driven by advancements in technology, fuel efficiency concerns, and the evolving economy. Fuel costs began to rise, prompting manufacturers to prioritize aerodynamics and new length rules led to dominance of the conventional cab design. Manual transmissions remained dominant, with configurations ranging from 5-speed to 13-speed, but with improved synchronizers for smoother shifting. Automated transmissions AMTs, began to emerge, offering electronic clutch and gear changes. However, these early models were often unreliable and limited to specific applications. Now, we entered a period of rapid advancements in truck technology. The 2000s brought increased competition, stricter regulations, and a booming global economy. The cab over design was almost gone due to concerns about safety and driver comfort. Manual transmissions remained prevalent. However, AMTs gained significant traction, offering faster gear changes, improved fuel efficiency, and reduced driver fatigue. The most common configurations had 10 to 12 speeds, and we also saw the introduction of ADTs, automated double clutch transmissions, combining the performance of manuals with the ease of automatics. So, what about today? When looking at today's trucks, things like fuel efficiency and aerodynamics are paramount resulting in ultra-streamlined designs with integrated skirts, fairings, and even active aerodynamic components that adjust to wind conditions. Manual transmissions are still available in some niches, but automated options reign supreme. Improved AMTs like Eaton Fuller Advantage and Volvo iShift Plus offer faster, smoother shifts and better fuel economy. Today's transmissions typically have 12 to 18 speeds, with some reaching even higher for specialized applications. Today's semi-trucks are the culmination of decades of continuous improvement. They are safer, more efficient, and offer drivers a significantly better working environment compared to their predecessors. Now that you know a bit about the transmission's history, let's go to the question of why manufacturers keep adding gears. Well, there are five main reasons for this, starting with fuel efficiency. One of the primary reasons for adding more gears to truck transmissions is to improve fuel efficiency. With more gears, trucks can operate within their optimal engine speed range more efficiently, reducing fuel consumption during highway cruising and city driving. Performance Additional gears allow trucks to better match engine output with driving conditions, improving overall performance. With more gear options, trucks can accelerate more smoothly climb hills more efficiently, and maintain higher speeds on the highway without straining the engine. Increased Load Handling 
Trucks often haul heavy loads, and having more gears in the transmission provides better control over the distribution of power to the wheels. This is especially important when navigating steep inclines or rough terrain, where having the right gear ratio can make a significant difference in performance and safety. Driver Comfort and Convenience Modern transmissions with more gears often feature smoother shifting and improved drivability, enhancing the overall driving experience for truckers. Additionally, having more gears allows drivers to operate the truck more efficiently and with less effort, reducing driver fatigue on long hauls. The last reason is regulatory requirements. Environmental regulations and emission standards have become increasingly stringent over the years. The more gears in truck transmissions can help manufacturers meet these requirements by improving fuel efficiency and reducing emissions. But what about the future? Will there soon be 25 gears on a truck, or have we reached the limit? It's possible that truck transmissions could continue to increase in gear count, although there may be diminishing returns beyond a certain point. Manufacturers may explore adding more gears to optimize engine performance across a wider range of speeds, but there could be practical limitations in terms of complexity, weight, and cost. With the rise of electric trucks, traditional transmissions may become less relevant. Electric vehicles EVs, typically utilize single-speed transmissions or direct-drive systems, as electric motors provide instant torque across a wide range of speeds, without the need for multiple gear ratios. As EV technology advances and becomes more widespread, the demand for traditional multi-speed transmissions in trucks could decrease. In conclusion, the evolution of truck transmissions over the past century has been driven by a quest for improved efficiency, performance, and compliance with regulations. Today's trucks boast sophisticated transmission systems with numerous gears, offering enhanced fuel efficiency, smoother operation, and better handling of heavy loads. Looking ahead with the advent of electric trucks, the future of truck transmissions is poised for significant transformation. And whether the manual gearbox will one day become a thing of the past, only time will tell. If you like this video, you'll definitely like this one too. Thank you for watching, and see you next week.